okay so what is a histogram i'm just going to explain histogram so histogram is a popular graphic tool and it is used to summarize discrete or continuous data that are measures on interval scales so uh, what does it mean so it means like historical is a just type of a chart that shows the frequency distribution of data uh, data points across the continuous range of numerical values so what are the numerical values so values are grouped into bins or a bucket uh, that are arranged in a consecutive order along the horizontal axis at the bottom of the chart so there are uh, y axis and uh, x axis so y axis is just uh, uh, the vertical and uh, x axis is just the horizontal so histogram that will be used so before going with the histogram that you have have used the discrete and continuous data what is the difference between discrete data and continuous data so look at this uh, the discrete data represent exact figure uh, you can count for example uh, how many students are here in the class right so how many uh, students have joined uh, bachelor courses right so how many students are coming from uh, different uh, part of the world a particular place right? how many students uh, live in uh, uh, maybe in uh, live in a uh, surrey or maybe pokwitlam or maybe other places or in vancouver so that is the discrete data we can calculate we can easily have uh, in numbers like right? uh, which is known as a quantitative data discrete uh, the opposite of this is a continuous data that often includes the measurable values representing a range of information uh, for example extent of the differences between shortest and the tallest student in the class right so shortest and the tallest student what is the the range so this is the range second example i can give regarding the continuous data may be the salary of employee so salary of employees may fall between like uh, $20,000 to $40,000. Then uh, how, many, uh, how many employees are working in the organization? They are having the salary between this range. So that is the range, which is known as continuous data. From this particular range, from the January to February, February to March, March to April, this is the continuous data, right? Uh, but discrete is a particular number. There is no any continuation. So some of the examples of the discrete variable includes number of books you check out from the library, maybe 20, 30 or 100. Number of heads in the scales of coin tosses. How many times that you toss a, a coin and head comes. Then a result of the rolling of a dice, maybe how many times six come or maybe how many times five comes. So that is the probability analysis and the number of uh, patients in the hospital maybe male patient or female patient you can calculate uh, right so uh, very easily that is a discrete variable population of the country that is a discrete data on the other side we have a continuous data so example of the continuous variable includes uh, height a uh, weight for example how much is the height of the person so range height may be between like 5.5 to the 6 feet between this range right the weight may be like uh, uh, 50 kilograms to 90 kilograms that this continuous data refer to the data that can be measured okay. so time interval so time is an interval type of data distance is a ratio type of data temperature so how, what is the temperature in the room or maybe what is the temperature today and what will be the weather is a weather cost forecast in a weather forecast software so there may be some uh, continuous uh, uh, variable and data that that can be used how much is the earning of the person age and rainfall probabilities so all these are the continuous which is uh, totally uh, opposite of the discrete variable now uh, come back to the historic histogram so there is a histogram versus a bar graph so the, what is the difference between these two? The bar graph represents uh, categorical data, but histogram that is represent uh, the numerical data, maybe discrete or continuous data. So for the bar graph, 
equal space between every two consecutive bars then uh, in histogram no space between two consecutive bars and they should be attached to each other data can be arranged in any order but in this case data is arranged in order of range so range mean like in case salary 20,000 to 40,000 40,000 to 60,000 60 to 80 and so on so that is the range range of 20,000 yes so the x x axis can uh, represent anything but here the x axis should uh, represent only continuous data that is in the term of numbers now uh, look at this example the bar graph on the left hand side you can see number of classes class 5 6 7 8 and 9 these are the classes on the y-axis and x-axis we have number of girls in the class so this is the bar graph on the other side we have histogram so histogram is the different from this marks obtained and number so this is like number of students in the class so we have this setup so how uh, how to do in Microsoft Excel that we are just going to do one numeric for the histogram uh, we have this data available so uh, let's say uh, there are uh, two fields two columns are there so all these uh, two columns the first one is the name and the uh, annual salary of these employees so histogram to analyze the salary distribution so we have a lot of information here how to create a histogram on the basis of data we have here now so first of all that uh, we need to go to uh, from where that we can collect, collect this information uh, the histogram uh, we go to insert a recommended chart so under recommended chart so all charts are available so when you click on all chart so you will find here histogram so click on the histogram and ok so once the histogram is coming so it takes uh, automatically uh, the sum of the, the range which is known as a bin so the moment when I click on uh, and double click on this on the right hand side of uh, format access will come so by default <coughs> this is automatic but what I can do I can change the bin width so bin width if I change for example uh, this is around 40,000 and click anywhere so it, it has changed to the 40,000 automatically right so again uh, double click on this <coughs> sorry so overflow bin is there so I can change uh, this figure to $200,000 and click here then I want to go with the underflow bin it's in negative I just want the minimum like starting from 20,000 so we, we have this information ready now look at this if the moment I change something here then automatically the change will reflect to this way as well uh, if I let's say I want some um, from the 20,000 to 60,000 per annum salary I want how many students or how many employees are here for this one what I need I need to click here on the plus sign that look at this when there is uh, the, this chart histogram click on this click on the plus sign you will find some information here so data label is here just uh, hovering over the mouse pointer to the data label you will find all these numbers so click on this you will have all these numbers ready so it, it shows that 15 students or uh, 15 employees for example uh, they are here in this organization which have salary range between 60,000 to 100,000 dollars if in case I would like to change the figure from here let's say 34,000 so this uh, range that comes under 11 but I just I'm going to change this data let's see what happened I'm just writing here uh, 65,000 and enter so what happened it has changed it was 11 and it was a 15 now this is the 10 and this is 16 no one is here between this range $140,000 till $180,000 let's assume that I'm just going to make more modification so $145,000 and press enter and I'll find one 
employee health increase here so automatically this is showing here it's a very beautiful feature which is available in microsoft excel for data analysis on the top if i just would like to change some something here like a data title i i will be able to change very easily then i can write here employee sell the information okay so so this information is available okay so this is the one way that we we can calculate we can arrange this information and second uh, histogram one example and second example that uh, we have here exactly the everything is same but how we can we will be able to find this information that frequency so here frequency if we say these are the frequency like 16 and 9 and 2 1 and 2 so these are the frequencies so uh, for this one what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, have a bin range so what is the meaning of bin range so bin range is a basket right so it shows like 20,000 to 60,000 the the gap in between is a 40,000 dollars 60 to 100 is a 40,000 40, 100,000 40, 140, 40, 140 to 180, 182 40. so 220 so why I'm just uh, writing here bin range because when I use when I use the data analysis tool here then there is also histogram the second way of making exactly the same thing so click ok we, we need to find here range so click on this uh, we have two ways either you can click here on the right hand side of this input range box and select as, uh, annual salary field as well along with the numerical information and click here label so bin range we have to select bin range as well so the bin range is also there like click on here and bin range i'm just going to select this is the bin range okay so bin range i have selected now you you will find that the previous data has gone the moment i click on enter so this data is available but i i want uh, this data as well as the previous the whole data so what i can do i'm just going to control z undo Or, so this information is there but actually this information has moved to the sheet number two next sheet but if I want in the same sheet there is a also possibility how to do this one I just go to histogram number two and once again I click on data analysis and here uh, we have so what what we have here so that is available Instagram okay so we have selected annual salary and we have this information and uh, but before just uh, clicking ok and everything I need to uh, click on the output range click here and I click I should click here as well right so already we have selected it so what I want I want a chart output only so double check the range once again uh, for this one I'm just going to select this and for this one I need to select from the annual salary the same data right so the moment I press ok so you will find uh, two information the first one is the bin range bin range is automatically coming here then after then the from 1 10 15 2 and uh, everything is available right okay so uh, let's say uh, in this way uh, I will try to change some data and see whether uh, that we will be able to see some modification or not let's say if the salary is uh, from this I'm just going to increase 185,000 and press enter that in this way that it is not going to change right but so look at this so that changes happen so when that we will use the other method the first method which we have already done right in the second method exactly the data we we cannot change the data why this is so actually uh, this assume that data which you have already collected there is no need to change data the data is the original data why to make modification in the data 
if you are going to make some changes in the data, it means that in the manipulation of data, the result will not be correct one. Right? So that's why whenever that we use some of the information and data analysis tool for the histogram, so whenever there is a making some changes, so changes will not reflect automatically in the graph. But that reflect in the part one that we have already completed. So this is how to use uh, histogram and uh, uh, which is different from the bar graph.